I speak a lot A lot of you guys always say that I talk too much And then by the time 8 minutes Y'all have to wait 8 minutes just for my review Let me just tell you This is just how it is For my video I like to talk about Like the backstory of it And things like that And how I got to it That's just my style Okay if you don't like it Again Go to the timestamp below And just go straight to the, the review Okay And go straight to the product demo Okay Hello Welcome back to my channel Today we'll be talking about My skincare uh, routine I wouldn't say skincare routine because I mean I change my skincare quite often but these are the two products that I've been using lately because mainly I want to try them out of course and I want to give you a review and my thoughts of it. Two products that we will be focusing today is the Face Republic's Whitening Cream and also a Sun Gel SPF 50. Now it's written Whitening Cream. I know that I've always been saying that I'm not that big of a fan of whitening creams and to be honest i really still am not because i really can't tell if they kind of brighten up my skin or not i can only tell you how i feel about this okay like how when it applies on whether it feels good or not whether it gives you that kind of like irritation or anything like that okay got no makeup on right now i thought i would do like a get ready with me skincare review kind of thing so as i use the product I will tell you how I feel about it as well and also how I feel about it over the past month or so. Usually in the morning, if I'm not super lazy, I will wash my face. But if I'm lazy, I generally don't wash my face. Most of the time, I don't wash my face. I would say that around 70% of the time, I don't wash my face in the morning. So what I'll do is that I'll usually clean my face. Depending on what I used the night before, if let's say I use like a regular cream that I feel that the next day my skin is still okay to just immediately apply on a sunscreen, then I'll just apply on a sunscreen. But for example, last night I actually used the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula. It's starting to grow on me. I actually did a review about this. Yeah, it's starting to grow on me and I'm starting to really like using this. And I use like a really, really tiny amount, just like one or two drops only. And then really rub it all over my decal touch and my face basically. But otherwise I use like a regular cream or I use like this whitening cream. It never says that this is like for daytime or nighttime. So I assume that you can use it for day or night because there's no SPF in it. So what I use to kind of clean my face, I have a few choices. Um, this time around I have three choices. One of it is the micellar water. This is the Hada Labo 3-in-1 micellar water. I like this one is because you can use a cotton pad and just pump it and the water will come up to kind of help me to clean my face and I just swipe it all over my face basically. So a very simple and easy micellar water just to remove any of the dirt that you kind of collected the night before or when you sleep. That's the whole point for me of just wiping my face with micellar water or even just a beauty water. So this is the Sun and Park beauty water. I've, I'm still using this. I'm only like halfway through it because I don't use this as like a toner. I use this a lot of time as like a morning kind of cleansing liquid. I don't use this to remove makeup. Although there's a lot of video out, videos out there that actually say that this can actually remove makeup. Yeah, I just don't use this to remove makeup. I just feel like this is not strong enough to remove makeup. Like for me, removing makeup, I would like to use specifically my mascara as well. Because my mascaras are usually the one that's really waterproof. I usually like to use the Garnier Micellar Oil Infused Cleansing Water. Now this, this is really seriously one of my favorite uh, micellar cleansing water. Because it has oil in it and really helps to remove all the waterproof makeup. The other version one, the pink color one, blue color one or whatever other color that they have, Without the oil on top, it's it's really just another just another regular micellar water that doesn't really you know remove too much of my waterproof makeup basically. So yeah, this is my favorite to remove waterproof makeup. And then after that, usually I like to go back in with a regular micellar water to kind of do a final wipe through, just to fully like make sure that there's no more residue on my face. And then after that, I go wash my face again. <laughs> I know I clean my face so much after I put makeup. That's that's one of the reasons why I think I don't put too much makeup. I hate the cleansing part of the whole makeup routine, okay? If I feel like I need some like very nice smelling kind of product, I would use the Side and Park Beauty Water because it smells so good! I feel like one of the main reasons why that I'm really still using this um, beauty water is because it just smells so good. It smells like citrusy, limey, but a little bit floral at the same time. It's just something about it that I really, really like. Now the other one is if I feel like my skin is really rough. For example, if I have not gone for facial for a while and I feel like I'm in need of facial but I'm, I already booked my facial, it's probably another like couple of days time but my skin is already super super rough and like very like clogged. I would try to use this. This is the AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner by 
Corsex, Corsex. I don't know how to pronounce this name, okay? Don't want to even try because I don't really use a lot of their products. I feel a lot of their products are very specifically treatment style kind of um, skincare products. It's not very cheap also. It's pretty pricey, most of their products. And the only reason why I took this one is because I think at one point that I feel like my the blackheads in my nose and the clogness underneath my chin here is getting really really bad and that's why I thought you know what instead of a regular scrub that will scrub away the whole surface layer of your face try to use a AHA and BHA exfoliant um, basically these are considered as like a chemical exfoliant um, in fact, thanks to, thanks to one of you guys who actually asked me whether my scrub from the scent I want is actually a physical exfoliant or a chemical exfoliant. And I'm like, what the heck? Is there such thing as like physical or chemical exfoliant? To be honest, even though I've been doing this for so long, like this whole beauty thing for so long, I still don't know a lot of things. Yeah, I'm still learning and I'm, I'm still like getting wowed by all the technology so far. Chemical exfoliant is usually directed to people who have like more sensitive skin, who can't really take too much of the physical exfoliant, like physical scrub. Like they can't really, for example, like people, severe acne pe people and also people with like um, this really, really thin, thin skin. This one, they have like a low pH formula to help to purify your skin basically. So it's like a very gentle exfoliating process rather than an actual scrub where it scrub away the uh, like a real layer of your face, okay? This toner works to refresh and soothe and soften skin basically. As you can tell, I still have a lot more. <laughs> I haven't been really using this. I have just started this probably about like two months back but I haven't really been using this because for the past few months I've been really really good with my facial routine so like almost every single month I actually go for facial so my skin hasn't really been feeling that I need to use this so that's why I don't use this that often so today I think I will I'll use a regular cleansing water like a regular micellar cleansing water because I feel that with the beauty water it's also a little bit more of that moisturizing kind of effect it kind of cleanses your face but at the same time it also really put in a lot of moisture back on the face because I'm, I'm focusing on these two products I don't want to you know mess it up by adding more moisture with another product I just want you guys to see the trueness of this product or how this product looks like on the face without any other product that kind of adds on moisture to it now that I've already cleaned my face let's get into the actual review <laughs> this is how my face looked like after kind of cleaning my face ish the good part about this like routine it's really just two products you can use this during the nighttime this one just this one alone during nighttime and then you can just use this one and this one during the daytime so it's really just two products that you need it has been nice to just have two products to use rather than like serum uh, essence uh, like da 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 it's just really nice to really try to reduce down as much as possible but the next few products I, it's actually quite like a set mm -hmm. <laughs> crystal glow whitening cream obviously made in korea it's 30 ml skin perfecting moisturizer that naturally lightens dark and dull spot giving you that healthy glow even without makeup i have to say this is definitely a little bit more moisturizing personally if compared this to i like this one better is because of my dry skin this one is a little bit more moisturizing as compared to the sun gel which is very weird usually the sunscreen is the one that's a little bit more of that dewy feeling but this is the other way around, okay? I really, really like the packaging. It's very sleek, very simple, very small and very compact. Basically, make the packaging into whatever that's just necessary, okay? A, like a white cream. When you when it touches your skin, it kind of melts a little bit. So it kind of melts a little bit as it touches the heat of your body. As you can tell, it is pretty thick, I have to say. I'm gonna rub it in between my fingers as always and then just tap it on my face. So as you can tell, there is a little bit of that glow. It does give you a little bit of that dewiness. I wouldn't say super glowy. I wouldn't say that it gives you that, that whitening kind of glow. I just feel like it's just like any other moisturizer that it's a, a good moisturizer that helps to give you that dewy feeling, especially when you have dry skin. This is what we need. This is what we want basically, okay? And I, I personally do like this cream. It's surprising for a whitening cream. I actually quite like it because most whitening cream in the market is, has always just been very dry for my skin because of the ingredients that they have. I understand that so that's why I usually just avoid whitening and it's 
and I mean, come on, look at me. It's not I like really, really need whitening anyway, right? If anything, I probably still need like more of the brightening kind of thing because of all the like, apparently the dark spots that I'm supposed to have that's coming out already as I'm aging. But I personally will not purposely go and buy them. At this point of time, still, I'm still gearing towards hydrating kind of products. I'm looking at the ingredients. The first ingredient is water. Second is glycerin. And other than that, it doesn't have parabens. So that's a good part, okay? Unfortunately, they do have alcohol and fragrance. So if your skin is sensitive towards alcohol and fragrance, you might want to avoid this. Both of the products smells very, very refreshing. They have the same kind of fragrance, but they both smell like you just step out of the shower kind of scent. I don't know if you buy it, it will come in this kind of box or not, or you just get the, this one itself. But this one, it was given to me as like a media kind of thing this item is not for sale cruelty free yeah so i think this is really just like a media kind of thing media box just so that we can help them to promote basically next up we will move on to the super screen sun gel spf 50 plus so this is a non-sticky non-greasy and weightless sunscreen with the broad spectrum protection of SPF 50 plus and PA plus plus plus. There's no four plus, just three plus. Okay, so you're supposed to apply gen a generous amount onto clean face and neck. Can be used under makeup, reapply as needed. Okay, blah blah blah. So there's still fragrance in there. There's silica in here. I don't think I can see any alcohol in here. But specifically, if you are again sensitive to fragrance, you might want to avoid this because it does have a very distinct fragrance to it. It's similar to the fragrance as this one. It has that very refreshing kind of scent like you just after shower kind of scent. It's a very very nice fragrance I have to say but if you are sensitive to that you might want to avoid this. This is made in Korea. This is slightly bigger. This is in 50ml. Again packaging wise it's super sleek. Very easy. I feel like again they only put in the necessary packaging whatever that they need. They don't put in extra fancy fancy packaging. Just easy to travel with if you want to travel with this. The sun gel is a little bit different when it comes to texture and consistency and color wise it has a little bit more of that gel like literally gel i guess texture or feels lighter as compared to the whitening cream it's not as thick as the whitening cream i'm just gonna rub it in between my finger okay and tap it on my face You might think that oh my gosh what do you what are you trying to say that it's like matte no not really it looks very glowy it still looks very like dewy and hydrated and things like that but that's it's just first off the bat okay that's just how it is when you first apply it on it might look that it's super glowy plus don't forget I use this whitening cream underneath so that's why it might look a little bit more dewy but on its own okay it is definitely leaning towards more of that matte-ish kind of sunscreen so I wouldn't say super matte it still leaves you that little bit of that protection layer like other sunscreen can really look like you're like super ooh, like a <laughs> like a glass skin kind of look kind of face okay but this one really leans towards more of that more matte side I wouldn't say super matte also it's just just leaning towards more of that matte side and it doesn't feel like sticky or it doesn't feel oily it doesn't feel like a regular sunscreen I feel this one oh, with oily skin type will actually really like this a lot I kind of use quite a lot just now Maybe if you use just a little bit and you have oily skin type, you probably want to use just a little bit. You probably will extremely like this product. Not the oily, greasy, dewy kind of sunscreen where you touch, right? You'll feel like, oh, that's a slick and I get to move around, get to massage my face with that kind of, kind of feeling, okay? Perfect for the hot and humid weather in Malaysia specifically. This one, I don't mind. I don't mind using it. It's just that I don't think this is my favorite, favorite sunscreen. But I, I know that a lot of people in Malaysia would really really like this sunscreen because of the nature of the sunscreen. I don't know if you can tell now, it's probably a little bit more matte now as compared to just now when I first applied it on. My preference, I prefer something that gives me a little bit more of that sleek and more of that glass look rather than that matte velvety matte kind of look basically but i do highly recommend these two products they are quite nice product they don't you know give me rashes they don't react badly to my skin my skin feels nice using this um and it's nice a nice product overall in general okay okay that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something i know it's a long video but again as always i i 
I have to tell you that this is just my style of making videos. I like to talk because I have no actual friends. So <laughs> that sounds so sad. No, I do have friends. It's just I don't social like that that much because of the nature of my job and I really really like my job. I love being at home. I love doing things like that. I just I just love staying at home. I love playing my games. I love just editing videos. I love shooting videos and editing videos. I love writing and just not needing to go out. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe!